Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where we are working on the Avalanche, but it's not here because it's at the transmission shop. We're going to pick it up tomorrow, uh, test it out, make sure it works real good, and then move on from there. So, last episode on the Avalanche, I had these tires and rims from years ago. They are dated 215 so they're eight years old but I've had them for about six <laughs> so they're only two years old when I bought them but uh, they just been sitting out in the Sun they were all leaking around the the rims there I had to bust them loose clean them out and put some uh, bead sealer top and bottom on all four They've been sitting here for a couple days. They're not leaking, so I think they're good. I did t test them with water but around the edges, but I didn't check every square inch of the whole tire. But I'm pretty sure that it's not leaking from anywhere in the tread, you know, nail holes or anything, because uh, they were holding there for years until, until they just sat. Uh, this one stained up pretty bad from uh, a big ant pile. It's all full of dirt that was at the bottom so what we're gonna do we got a water bucket here with some sandpaper and we're gonna sand all this I'm even gonna sand the shiny stuff here because we're gonna sand the shiny part too but we're gonna leave it we're not gonna paint it okay because it's all it's all stained and stuff here anyway I'm hoping most of that comes out, but hell, it may not. Yeah, it may. Okay, and then of course the silver part of it, we're going to sand down. So I'm going to spend, uh, I don't know how long, quite a, quite a long time doing all four of these. And then we're going to paint in between the shiny parts. Uh, Pretty sure I'm gonna go with satin black, but I, I do have silver. I could do it with silver. I'll figure it out when the time comes. So get all these ready for tomorrow when we get the avalanche back and then we'll swap swap them over. See if I can find some tire dressing type stuff on there because uh, I got a whole box full of stuff that I got from a junk car of all waxes, polishes. I thought there was some tire stuff. I may have used it. We're also going to sand the uh, center caps and do them too. Okay, let me do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm about to paint the wheels. Got this uh, stuff from my local paint store. Uh, matte black. It says it's acrylic urethane. Nick, just mix some up. I'm going to use some uh, Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. I'm going to go out there and Spray a coat of this on there, then we'll spray the paint on there. Just got it out in the sun so it dries pretty quick. It took a while to mask these off and sand them. Uh, had all kinds of little pits and crap. So basically, we're just going to put a coat of this on there. Nothing looks worse than seeing wheels with the paint peeling off. So let me do that. Spray the center caps too, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, put a couple of coats. It's black on there, it's got it at real low pressure. Probably put about three good coats on it. It ain't gonna take much paint. Okay, let me do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, just got her back from the transmission shop. Lived on about five miles of dirt road. 
Got my truck trailer and this just full of mud. So I have to uh, wash it off. Anyway, just in time. So I got all the wheels painted. Center caps. I may paint these Chevy emblems something. You know, blue or red or something. Uh, but anyway, that's what it looks like unmasked. Tell me what you think. If you think these look better than... Let me put it up there. Which ones do you think look better? See, these ones are all scratched up too. Somebody painted them black, but they're all just peeling. Didn't do a very good prep job on it. So anyway, let me get her jacked up and put all these on there and see what it's like. And then uh, probably be tomorrow. Um, and we'll take it for a test drive. He said he took it for a ride and all the gears work. Transmission was 1200 bucks all together uh, with a new transmission cooler and a new torque converter. There's the transmission cooler right there. 90 day guarantee. <coughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I got them on. Look a lot, a lot smaller than the other ones, but they are 18s. This still looks all right, height wise. Okay, so the uh, I got a guy cutting down some trees, so it's kind of noisy. Um, front rotors and shoes look good, pads. Uh, the rear one, the rotors look good, but I can't see the pads. They look like they're worn down, so we're going to add them to the list. Other than that, everything else looks good. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Put them old tires in a pile, move this over by the pressure washer and rinse her off. I'll be back. Okay guys, I rinsed all the mud and shit off there. Okay. Okay, since I got the power washer out, we're going to uh, rinse off this Jeep. This sat, sits underneath the tree. You can see all the tree and leaves and crap. we got to do something about this. See this roof rack all rusty? <clears throat> Could probably just sand it down and paint it. But, uh... Well, I probably should. I was thinking of using, I got a little six pack of Pour 15. I thought about just brushing some Pour 15 on there. I might just do that instead of sanding it. And then uh, that'll give it a good test for Pour 15. Oh, except Pour 15 is not UV resistant, so it'll fade out. And I got glass, gloss black, but yeah, it was, Anyway, I gotta power wash this off because the tree's going bye-bye. Got a guy over here cutting a tree. And uh I cut this tree here too, so uh be no more leaves on it. I'll be back. Okay guys, I got her all rinsed off. Uh yeah, I think we're just gonna put some uh pour fifteen on that. They may fade out. I was going to show you the other, my other Jeep. It doesn't look as bad now that it's wet, but believe me, it was all, you've probably seen it on the last clip. Um, so yeah, I bought these baskets for my two Jeeps, but I think I bought this one, the latest one. I mean, it's a couple of years old, 
but uh let's go look at my other one real quick and somebody commented i think it was on the last uh avalanche video oh what he uh said sell them jeeps why why would i want to sell the jeeps jeeps are like my children i never sell them these jeeps will take you where no other hardly any other vehicles can go go to colorado the tallest road i think it's road it's really a jeep trail but it's tallest road in america imogene pass 11,500 feet or something this is the jeep i fixed up first and look at this looks friggin brand new still and i don't know if i bought the other one from the same manufacturer i just don't know because i fixed this jeep first I bought it. I thought the guy thought the transmission was out in it, but it was just the solenoids. It's only got a well. It had 103,000. It's only got 105,000. I've only driven it 2,000 miles. AC blows cold. Everything. Uh, I don't know if this is dirt or rust here. So anyway, that one held out. This one didn't. I don't know why. So we're going to coat it with pour 15 um, and I know it'll fade out I don't think it'll, it'll bake off but I know there's no UV resistance to it okay uh, tomorrow we're gonna go for a test drive in this and then we'll fix the other little stuff uh, I, I just need I haven't checked the rear end fluid because I don't have no fluid to put in it if it's low I need to go get some rear end fluid, get some rear brake pads. We need to fix the fat guy seat. Uh, gonna get some tint from Walmart too. Just I think just retint this window. Uh, and really it don't need much other than a good cleaning inside and out. If we can get all that done. We start on the paint and body, but uh, I just gotta go go get it legal change the title tags and all that stuff put insurance on it uh, once I do all that it might be a little while we're going to uh, hook a trailer to it and a car and uh, check it out for towing see how good it tows I think it'll be all right okay so uh I'll be back I'll put you to put some poor 15 on that and uh well, that'll probably be tomorrow, too. Um, anyway, see you tomorrow. Okay, just wanted to take a look at these lights here at, at night. They are pretty bright. I don't know, I think I might keep them, guys. Let's see what the headlights... Headlights work. Okay, figure I'd test them out. Okay, guys, we're on a test drive. One, two. speeds see how it tries with these newish <laughs> tires new to me tires new to the truck tires so far it seems okay doing 55, but get her up about 70 or so. Man, 
the suspension just feels so good on this. No banging, clunking, clanging. stop. I, don't, I didn't put insurance or uh, stuff on it. Just got the tags off my truck. Okay, we'll stop in here. It's $2.99 a gallon, but it's about $2.90-$91 in town, but I don't want to drive all the way into town. I probably will later on another car so I can uh, go get some supplies and stuff. So anyway, Looks pretty successful to me. Looks like it uh, shifted. Just hope it lasts more than 90 days. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Got it up to about 85 on the way back. Did good. Uh, we got to do something with this stereo. It's only coming out passenger front. And it's got four speakers in all four doors. Not coming out the other three. So I have to do something about that. Hopefully it's just some type of, uh, and I noticed this is all cut up here. I don't think I have another cover like this though. I might. Okay, notice it has a uh, traction control. Don't have an owner's manual, but Oh, we get one off eBay. Okay, yeah, then we have to uh, do something with this here. Okay, so uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just got the new tailgate handle in. Uh, looks pretty simple. Just the two clips on those yellow things and then three bolts there. Okay, it does open. Uh, I don't have my glasses. You gotta push, push something here to open it. I forget now. Push up, down. Anyway, let me. Uh, or was it this? Or that way. Anyway, let me open that. And could just be these three. Or these three right here. Should pop right out. Don't think I'll have to take this off, but we'll see. Okay, want to go over? I just ordered some uh, paint. We are going to paint it. Um, ordered it from Summit because the Nissan 2K that I used, that I painted the uh, Nomad with and most of my cars, uh, it's, the prices have just gone through the roof. Probably uh, it was 115 last year for like black, which would be the same for about white, any 
any color they don't have to mix up uh, went from 115 to 170 around there maybe more plus you would have to buy the reducer and uh, activator slash hardener <coughs> okay so from summit it's called pure white acrylic urethane single stage 104.99 for a gallon and the activator hardener for a quart I think it's a quart uh, 29.99 or 39.99 the reducer one quart 17.99 they didn't charge anything for shipping tax was 815 for a grand total of 171.12 let's see 171.12 so uh that would just be for the paint for the nason from my local supplier i'd still have to pay i think their activator is like 50 59 or 69 so it'd probably it'd probably be you know 80 dollars more at my local place so anyway that's coming uh so we just i just figured i'd mention that since i just ordered it and it's on my mind so i won't forget i'll go over the price again when we get ready to uh to paint it i'll tell you the price again and stuff for new viewers okay i'll be back with that tailgate handle on okay guys it wasn't that easy this cover has to come off got two plastic clips there go into them holes and then the two bolts and that just pops right off that's fine uh, got these two big bolts here so i got the new one in one of the cheap had yellow clips this clip here just wouldn't snap right so i used the one off the uh, old one anyway it comes out and uh i was going to show you something else oh What I did with it, this. So this piece was here behind the handle, above there, sticking up. And the reason is, is so somebody couldn't just get a screwdriver and pop that and pop your lock open because it's got a lock on it. See. You have them covers on there and the lock. Well, you couldn't get the handle out with this on there. The only other way was to take this off and pull it up through the top, but I couldn't figure out how this was on. This prime mark was already there. Somebody tried. I kind of pried a little bit, but I think it's like urethane on there or something. I couldn't find no bolt holes or clips or anything. So anyway, I used a sawzall and just buzz this piece off then I could lean it forward and pull it out so anyway it was a little bit of a problem uh, I'm gonna put this back on and uh, take it off when I go to paint it it's not too bad but the key uh, does work for the lock and the key works for the uh, for the spare if I didn't show you this bear, I put that on there last video. That and the muffler. Oh, I probably can't see it. Anyway, I just put this cover on. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're going to uh, put some pour 15 on that roof rack. So I got a little brush here, and a little can. Let's give a nice before video of it. See all the. Oh, the surface rust. I can really see it there. Yeah, we're just going to coat it up. And uh, see how long it lasts. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of it. See how rusty it is. I'm just going to put on one coat and that's it. We'll see how long it... I 
I know it'll fade out. But I don't think it'll, I think that's all it'll do is just fade out. It won't bake off. All we wanted is, all we want to do is keep it from rusting again. But it'll be a good test. And some keeping the Jeep and, uh, Keep an eye on it. Fading out, I don't care. I'd rather have it flat black anyway, but. Just going very carefully on this. I don't want it to be dripping on the, the easiest way would be to take it off, but just do it on top. I may have to jump up here in, in here in the middle to get all the inside later on okay I'll be back when I'm done okay guys I got it all 415 up there I got a bunch of drips a bunch of drips on the paint but 415 doesn't stick to paint only to rust so It'll eventually uh, just flake off. Okay, we'll get rolling on. Uh, we're gonna take out this seat here and see what's up. See, this cushion was all hitting the floor here. And I pushed it all back up in there. So I don't know if there's something along the bottom there that holds that cushion up. But these are the weird, weird little uh, bolts there so uh, I gotta find my ratchet but here let's try this I don't know how strong they're gonna be yeah I probably got my impact anyway it was for them we'll take them out I don't think I gotta take that center console thing out and uh, it's got an airbag. I didn't realize it has an airbag in the side right here. So we're just going to disconnect all that. All the power seat works and everything. So we got to find out why it sunk so low. So take it apart and take a look. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got her out. I'm gonna vacuum it out before I put it back in. That's what it looks like. See, this was all, this was all out like this. And I kind of pushed it back up in there. Now we're gonna have to see, see there's some type of, some type of thing right there. That's, yeah, that's definitely broken off. Now let me mess around with it, and I'll be back. Okay, I don't even think this was part of the seat. I think someone stuck that in. Yeah, Samsonite. They stuck that in there. This is what's supposed to hold the cushion. See, it's all broken apart. There's the material for the seat. All it had was this. So... Not exactly sure where that goes. I think that wraps. That goes on that hook there. So, figure something out. Now I'll try to stick that underneath there and wrap some wire from there to there and from at least that hook yeah though that's a big spring right there two of them that one's broke that spring is broke there's not two springs like that there yeah some big old fat boy must have had this uh, I don't have any seats handy oh there's another one there's another one right there 
So this hooks on them three springs. Oh, there's another one, four. But this is no good. Okay, let me figure something out. I'll be back. Got my little helper here, puppy. Okay. Stuff that cushion in there. And I used two ratchet straps. The only two spots I could really get them good. Okay, right in the middle. Then back here. And then I, I kind of tied them together with some zip ties. Don't think I needed the zip ties, but I figure... I couldn't get another ratchet strap here, you know, because of this edge. Plus, I didn't have one. I just had the two. So, I think that'll, that'll be good. Man, it feels solid. Okay, let me put that in and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, she's back in there. It actually has a, let me see here, see that brings it down, and that brings it up. Bunch of, bunch of positions, missing all the plastic stuff there, but anyway, she is stiff. She's nice now. Don't feel like you're sitting on the floor anymore. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's missing a little handle to make the seat go forward. Let's see if I can round one of them up. I got some seats out of a S10. Maybe they'll be they'll be the same. But anyway, another quick. Uh, I was gonna say cheap, but free, free fixes. Fix the spare tire, the muffler, the seat, all for nothing. Parts and crap I had laying around. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm going to get this fixed up pretty cheap. I don't have the numbers with me, but it was, it was 1400 and something money wise I had into these trades. From the uh, Trailblazer to the Murano to this. But then the guy, I forgot to write it down. I just did though. He gave me 200 bucks. So that got it down to 1200 and something. Okay, then 1200 for the transmission. That's 24. 200 for the paint and the uh, tailgate. So what's that? 26? Or, yeah, 26. Uh, I forgot what else I had to buy for this. $10 for tint, some rear end fluid if it takes it. Pro rear brake shoes. I'm going to get in for the end of this way less than 3000 Okay, and I think it's going to be worth at least five. You got to figure, you know, new transmission, runs great, drives great, new paint, five grand. That's what I would ask for, it, but I'll probably keep it, but I may uh, I may put it up for sale, see what happens. So anyway, it'll be a little $2,000 profit if I decide to sell it. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll be back with something else. It's getting late in the day, probably going to go uh, at the end of the day. I go cut grass for about an hour or so slowly getting some of this stuff cut moved all this stuff away from the house over here and uh just do that for about an hour or so or else you can't really do it in the heat of the day it'll wear you out so i do that and we'll see you tomorrow well guys i had to show you this i didn't even know it was uh there until i was walking around it and seeing the keyhole little uh toolbox had a about half three quarters full of transmission fluid. We won't be needing that anymore for this car. But that's nice because I was just out anyway. And uh, now this side has one too. It turns. Oh, there it goes. 
See if there's anything in there. Some junk. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I need that clip from Morpsky. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I need an owner's manual for it. See if there's any other goodies in here that I don't know about. I said I said there was four tie downs. There was actually eight. I meant all four corners. Eight tie downs in there. You can haul some stuff in this and uh, strap her down real good. So yeah. Anyway, I kind of like it. Don't have no use for that folding down in the and the back window and everything. But that's that's pretty cool. And then the two little toolboxes and she's coming along, guys. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I think that'll wrap it up on work to the, uh, on the avalanche. Just got a few little things to go, and then we can start on the body and uh, paint work. Uh, I just got to round up some, I think some more body filler. I don't have any left. So, uh, yeah, probably won't be too many videos. It should be pretty quick. A couple of videos. One doing the body work, one doing the paint probably. And then we'll move on to uh, probably the other truck. And, uh, oh, uh, and the El Camino. I said I got carpet for it, so we'll do some interior work. And uh, probably a few other things. Get it all roadworthy. Probably going to have to buy new uh, fan belts and and uh water hoses and stuff like that heater hoses and radiator hoses so we can get it all nice and roadworthy and reliable and maybe put it up for sale you can see it's already dulling out because i buffed it i just as soon repaint it but we're not going to be doing that okay so uh like comment share subscribe all that stuff and we'll see y'all next video. And then right now I'm going to put on the clip of the, uh, the trees situation here. You've probably seen it in the background. So I'll add, I'll add that on documented. Cutting down some trees, making some room and stuff like that. So, okay. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see y'all next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Okay, guys. I had a guy come over here and buy some parts the other day and he said he cuts down trees. So I asked him how much to cut down these trees I'm about to show you. He said 300 bucks. So uh, this tree fell down a couple years ago. Uh, I trimmed a lot of it up, cut a lot of it up a little bit, but my chainsaws. I got two of them. One, the, ch the chain keeps coming off and the other one's just, I can't, can't cut real good. So anyway, he's going to cut this one up into chunks, which I told him about two foot, which I could fit in the fireplace. So he's going to cut that one down. I'm going to have him do that first. Originally, it didn't do any damage to that Camaro, but lately, see the spoilers busted, and I guess the, the weight keeps dropping on it and slowly crush, crushing it. I forgot, but I got one kind of a tree over there not that big one but and I don't know if I can move this SUV I'll probably have them do this one too this tree here is leaning against the power line right there power line goes up to that pole and goes to this pole now this ain't the main power to my place it was for this mobile home but what it is is the power to that light night light i pay i pay 10 bucks a month to have that light come on it comes on automatically at dark every day so i may have them do this one because there was actually a tree uh beside it what happened was I had a junk car like this with no rims or something on it. 
and I brought it over here and tied it to the tree and yanked it off the trailer that way. And then a little while later, this tree here fell down, just died. And then this one must have had the same root system or something. And that one just kind of fell over later on. So yeah, I kind of need him to cut that one up. He probably won't charge m very much. But the two main ones, right here, these two here, they've been nothing but a pain in the ass. I like the only good thing that I like about them is the shade. But they constantly drop sap or whatever and just kill the kills the cars underneath of it. And then a little while ago, you can see this right here. I don't know what happened. I just came out one day and it broke off right here. But it actually broke off against the mobile home and done some damage to it and i cut up all the branches some of it's over over there uh so anyway this one's about half as thick as it should be so i'm gonna have them cut down this i guess there's four main things coming out because eventually it's gonna come and hit the mobile home again so yeah he's gonna cut cut these four down and cut them all into two foot sections and not only that but this one over here too and there's what two or two main ones here yeah two of them there so you see he's bringing a helper so you move the jeeps and these out of the way here. Hopefully he can get this one to pull that way. So I'm not gonna be able to move this junk. And there was a mobile home right here. And I moved in, that's the one that's back behind the trailer. And that was hooked up to electrical. Then I got a, a water thing over there by the tires, which comes with a P PVC pipe coming out here, over, over there. Uh, underground I don't know uh, exactly where it runs though it kind of wise off it comes here and then it wise off coming to the one I live in but uh, eventually I want to build something here whether it's going to be a house type thing a put more carports and possibly a shelter, bomb, uh, bomb tornado shelter. I have one way over on the other side of the property, but it's kind of too far and really small, but it's good for a quick tornado if one ripped through. But I'll build a bigger one, probably in here somewhere, and completely underground, and then a structure over top of it. Uh, I don't know when I'll get around to doing that, but the first step is to get this stuff cleared out of here <coughs> So anyway, I'll show you a few clips of him cutting it down. I don't know how he's a young guy I don't know how good he is. I had a guy a while back to trade for some parts and he cut down a Few trees for me and trade for some auto parts one was right where all the all the bushes behind the tires That's all coming out of the stump. That was a huge tree and I had them cut down that whole thing and cut it up into pieces put in a fireplace. I think he cut down a couple of more. I can remember three trees he cut down, but I got so many trees on this property, I don't really care about any of this stuff over here, but uh, I'm getting more worried about the one behind the carport, the dog pen over there. Uh, the problem is these big old branches just break off either from old age or storms or something. Uh, but I'm not gonna do any trimming. You can just see this, that tree's just out of control. It's so big and I hate for it to fall on the carports, but I don't know, we'll see how good of a job this guy does. See, I just got trees everywhere, but I want them away from the structures. 
Anyway, I'll show you a little bit here when he start when he when he gets over here. Okay, guys, little update on the trees. Uh, the guy's kind of a flake, has a crappy chainsaw. Doesn't come over when he says. Uh, first day lasted about 10 minutes before his chainsaw screwed up. So then uh, I have two chainsaws. One starts, but it's something's messed up with it. The blade or the whatever it is, the blade goes on. So I asked him if he could do anything with them. I basically traded him 50 bucks worth of labor for the two saws. The other saw was just in a junk car. It actually looked brand new, but I could never get it started. Okay, so he spent a couple hours jacking around with all those two saws and his, and his other saw that screwed up. I think he just said the blade was too dull. So then the next day, he said he'd be over at 8 in the morning. He, he shows up about 5.30, <laughs> about uh, 8, 9 hours later. And he chopped down the rest of this one. Okay, uh, I told him to chop them up into sections so I could burn them in the fireplace. He got to this far, then he said there was too much stuff in the way. And I said, well, that's okay, that's good enough. It's off the car. So yeah, I'd done some damage, busted the tail light and a spoiler, but it was just a parts car anyway. But I, it is a complete, well, it's a roller, but it's uh, with the title and everything. So it's a builder or whatever. Uh, the other one's a parts car. It's got a, I don't know. Anyway, so when he showed up at 530, he finished cutting that up. He was over here till about nine, ten o'clock. So he worked about four hours. And uh, he started cutting down this tree here. And that's as far as he got. He got a couple of big, I guess two of them off. I guess this one and this one, and then you cut them down here, so that's pretty good for firewood. It's got all that around. Uh, so then his saw screws up again, so the clutch went out in it. So oh, nothing I can do, the clutch went out. So uh, he dragged some of these, I told him all this stuff here that isn't good for firewood to put it over here so i don't know he, he wrapped them all up in rope drug it with his truck over to here and then put a thing around this tree to pull pull it there and he spent like two hours doing that and i was thinking shit it'd just be easier just to drag it over here in friggin 15 minutes anyway He's, he, and he's homeless, he lives in his truck, <laughs> so I don't know, he said he has side jobs everywhere, but if he's doing tree service, he can't do much with an old crappy saw, and something about something's in the pawn shop, and he's going to go ask his brother for some money to get something out of the pawn shop, and this and that, because I say, well, what, what are you going to? fix your saw well I can I don't have I don't have the money and so I give him a hundred bucks so a hundred bucks plus the two saws I trade him that's 150 so I owe him 150 to get the rest of this tree down and this tree down and I was thinking yeah I kind of overpaid him because he didn't really do even half the work if he got this tree done it would have been half the work but he may not show up now for only 150 bucks but anyway that's how it's going he's just got a big mess going here I'd started up all my cars and moved them over here a couple over there GTO and the Jeep one Jeep over there and then I got got these ones here all started up moved out out of the way so anyway that's an update on the tree. 
Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, this video is getting real long. So we'll end this off. Uh, on what he's got done on these trees. He's, he got this one cut down. But started on that one. So he's supposed to be on his way over, but it's past six. He's only got a couple hours to daylight, but we'll see what he gets done. Anyway, next video, hopefully it'll be all cleared out, cut up, put away. And I can get my cars back in here instead of scattered all over. All over. I don't want them, the stuff sticking out this far. <coughs> Okay, so uh, I think that'll wrap it up, and we'll see y'all next video.